Guys, this is Tim Lawrence, otherwise known as Papa Smurf, sound, sound engineer for Poison, The Cult, The Moody Blues, Linda Rotstadt, and Josh Groban. How are you guys doing? Here to talk today a little bit about uh, about the mics that I use from Equation, namely the lines of the DSV-10, the DSV-11, the brand new F-20 series, and the uh, Alpha series uh, mic tools for drummers, which uh, happen to be some really, really good percussion and drum mics. Um, let's see. History-wise, I go back 41 years this September. Uh, this is 2009, so September of uh, this year will be 41 years that I've been in the business. I've worked for a lot of great musicians. I've worked for a lot of terrible musicians. But uh, it's always been fun, will always be fun, and actually I'm going to be shooting for 50 years on the road. Hopefully, there'll be some new products coming out sometime real soon that will break this industry wide open from Equation microphones. I've been affiliated with the Equation mics from uh, the inception of Equation. I used to run CAD microphones. Uh, the uh, Bruce Forbes and CP Pores and I all go back 1990, I think, maybe even a little bit earlier than that when I was mixing Steve Earl. And uh, I absolutely loved the, the CAD mics when they first came out. Actually, I think it was one of the first engineers in the United States to actually carry them live. Um, when there was a falling out of sorts and, and Bruce and CP started a company called Equation. Uh, of course, I was, I think, one of the first ones to jump on board with this. Um, I do a lot of uh, the beta testing for them on all of their mic lines that come out and uh, uh, all the bands that I've worked with over the years and continue to work with absolutely rave and absolutely love the way the mics sound. Um, and the way they hear it is by my CDs at the end of the night. I record every show that I do and usually turn it into the bands and let them sit down and critique themselves and analyze what I do as well as analyze what they do. Uh, some of my favorite mics that I'm using currently are, as I said, the, the new F20, uh, which I'm using on all of CC's guitar stuff. I'm also using it on uh, Brett's electric guitar stuff. And I'm absolutely in love with the Alpha Series drum mics. Um, guys, seriously, this is some of the best mics that you will hear for drums. Uh, they have just an absolute clean, flat response. They will do anything that you want them to do. Uh, I have some pretty unusual miking techniques versus open and closed miking, uh, which we'll get into at a later, at a later time on, uh, once the new website opens up. Uh, maybe a few demonstrations of my techniques of making, of, of miking drums and overheads. Um, currently with Brett, I'm using a DSV-10 capsule on, uh, I guess I cannot mention their name, but on their trans, on a different company's transmitter body. Um, a few adaptations here and there, and that microphone has, has actually become a mainstay in, uh, in my equipment line for, for Poison. I uh, have also transferred that over to the cult with Ian Astbury. Um, I have uh, also some backup mics which are DSV-11s that I use in a little more difficult situation since it's a different, uh, a different configuration as far as the actual pickup pattern of the mic is concerned. Uh, the F20s, going back to the F20s, what a phenomenal mic guys. You really got to try this mic. Uh, I've turned uh, a couple of the mics over uh, in the studio to a couple other top name producers and engineers as well as drummers and, and guitar players. Uh, a couple of them being like Fred Corey and Ricky Rocket from Poison, Fred from Cinderella actually. You'll probably have to re-edit that. Um, and uh, Bill Duffy from The Cult, Josh Groban's drummers uh, and also Josh Groban himself. So uh, take a listen to the F-20s. I think you're going to be very impressed and very pleased with what you get out of them.